Hi, thanks for watching my video. I was going to jump right into uh, the layout, and we're going to do that very quickly. But uh, I just got really excited about the uploader forms and all that I made, and I decided to just go ahead and just go searching and pulling a bunch of uh, more feeds into my site. And I've got 19 feeds in here and 280 stories right now. And uh, then I ran across a feed that come to, came out something like this. And this, in, a, in the sense of running a news feed, this is problematic for a couple of reasons. First of all, this has advertising right in the feed. So if you're going to run advertising on your website, and then you run this feed on your website, let's say you put uh, three AdSense ads in there, which is the limit. And then this ad runs in, and it's got their AdSense. Well, that's all fine and well when you click on this you're gonna to go to their website and get their story anyway excuse me so not only that we got this email list add a comment save to delicious dig this share on Facebook stumble blah 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 and uh, let me show you how that uh, comes out if you haven't fixed it Okay, I've pulled up my Flora blog page and I found a story that has some of this HTML in it. Now, you'll notice that this is actually, uh, my HTML starts here and ends here. This is, this is the part of the feed. Now, as you'll notice down below, I have my own like, send for Facebook. I have my own tweet and I have uh, my own information down here. Well, that becomes redundant because we're getting this out of the feed. We're getting email lists, save to delicious, dig this, share on Facebook, discuss, blah, blah, blah. Not to mention, and I haven't taken any feeds in for Floorblog that had this, uh, this AdSense in there. But if you'll see, I've got three AdSense. This is an AdSense here. This is an AdSense here. This is an AdSense here. That's their limit. If you put four on a page, you get kind of a, a little bit in trouble. So this is what it looks like with all of this shareware down below and I'm gonna go back to one that doesn't have all that and it looks a lot cleaner uh, although that's shorter if, there, if this had a little more content it would look better but you can see there's not redundant shareware because they didn't have this share package in there like they do in this next one so let's go back to the next one again and you can see how there's just way too much uh, you can share it on Facebook here. You can share it on Facebook here. I'd prefer you do it on my site. So let's go ahead and uh, go to this news feed again. And you'll see that what we want to do is we want to get rid of any HTML that's in here, such as this email list, add a comment, share to delicious, or whatever. Now, I've been playing around with this, and because I have and because it's not originating from that feed anymore, uh, I'm not seeing this. But when I first put it in there, I saw this and this would show up on your website would be probably problematic but since I'm on the XAMPP server I'm not seeing it I did throw this script up to my website and still ended up uh, it ended up hiding but it had a little box down here but anyway we don't want this at all so let's go back to our script and I'm just gonna do this on the uh, I'm not going to write this into code because I'll just end up keeping writing on more and more and more code that I send to you. So I'm going to leave this up to you to employ these methods, not only in your testing script, but also in your cron script. And in the sake of saving all the typing, I've put this in the clipboard and I'm going to put it in here and, just, and explain it to you. There's a function called, or, or a command called strip tags. And what, what that does is here we have description equals the XML channel and we want to take these uh, tags out of the description so uh, we've defined description as to what description is so then we go down to the line below and then we further go description equals and then we put in strip tags and then we put in these uh, parentheses the first what we want to strip the tag from and we're stripping the tag from description here so that's where we put in description and then we put a comma and what we want to leave behind we don't want to strip, strip the paragraph, pa uh, paragraph tags or the break tags so we're gonna put uh, PB 
that's going to leave paragraph and break. I'm not going to leave an image tag in there for the simple reason that there's an image tag in that uh, uh, AdSense stuff. So if I put this in right below description, now you can also do this in other fields as well, and we'll get into that in another video. I'm not going to uh, take up too much time cleaning up everything in here. But uh, now we'll go back to this. And before I refresh the page, I want you to look at page source. And you'll see there's all this HTTP feeds, feed burner, blah, 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 blah. That's, that's an image source. And then there's the href, ahref here. Okay, let me calm that down. And now I'm going to go back to my uh, feed tester. Okay, but before I refresh it, you can see we've got all this email dig and all that. Go back here, and I'm going to re-enter the same thing, and now all of that is gone. Now, if we look at the view source on this one, you'll see all of those tags have been taken out of there, and it's a much, much cleaner way to go. So now, I don't have to worry that this is going to interfere with my share program. I don't have to worry that it's going to render a... Uh, an ad on the page because I pulled out all the tags. Now you may want to make a different cron for these type than you do for for others because some feeds don't have a lot of tags in them but they do have an image in them and you may want to keep the image on your feed. So if you want to keep the image on your feed you'll want to save this as cron 2 like we've discussed in earlier and uh, make a cron number 2 for to handle this type of site and make a cron number one to handle the other types of site. And then when you go to a feed, and it's not just a feed, it's got uh, HTML embedded in it, then you'll know to put that into the cron that you designated to handle removal of HTML. Anyway, that's how you clean up scripts. And uh, another thing that we'll get into is string replace. I don't really want to get into that, so so just Google string replace and you'll understand what that does. In this case, I'm taking out uh, apostrophes. Uh, there's a weird shaped apostrophe that I've copied off of a page and I've changed it with a regular one. Although this is going to throw an error for me in my uh, system, so I'm just going to replace the apostrophes with nothing. So I'll just hit file save. And that's a, a quick overview of string replace. So Let's go ahead and start building the template. Put this uh, put this baby to work. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Thumbs up are always nice, and I'll see you in the next video.